Lots of new real estate happenings this past month, and I have it all right here. Stick around. Hey friends, it's Bill Warrell, your Bradenton and Sarasota Realtor, bringing you the very latest in our local real estate market. And speaking of our local community, we are still reeling from Hurricane Helene when Milton decided to descend upon us and permanently alter the landscape around here. The barrier islands like Anna Maria, Longboat, and Siesta Key took a beating, and the island life you might be used to will take much time before it gets back to any sense of normalcy. Those of us further inland are surrounded by a wave of blue tarps while roofers are having a field day. Needless to say, it's been a slower market than usual around here. Let's take a look at some numbers. Last month, 522 homes were sold in Manatee County, which is a 16% decrease from the month prior. In Sarasota, 508 homes were sold, which was a 20% decrease. You'll see last year at this time, the numbers leveled off a little bit over the summer, but this year they are just dropping. New listings have also dropped. As less homes are selling and activity is lower right now, not as many people are listing their homes for sale. In Manatee, there are 730 new listings, which was a 12% decrease from the month prior. In Sarasota, there was a 4% decrease. The total number of homes has remained relatively flat as Manatee County has 2,388 single family homes on the market right now, while Sarasota has 2,730 homes on the market. The median price for sold homes has gone opposite directions this past month as the median home price in Manatee was 470,000, which is a 5% decrease. Sarasota saw a 3% increase to 490,000. The average price per square foot didn't change much in either county. The average price per square foot for sold homes in Manatee was $284, which was down just 0.35% from the month prior. Sarasota was at $326 per square foot, which was down 1.21%. Now let's take a minute and break down those past two. In Sarasota, a median price of $490,000 with a price per square foot of $326 comes out to a 1,503 square foot home. In Manatee, a median price of 470,000 with a price per square foot of 284 comes out to 1,655 square feet. Based on this data, you'd be getting a larger home for your money if you were to stay in Manatee County. Average days on market is the amount of time between when a home is listed for sale and when it goes under contract. Right now, that's 71 days in Manatee County and 74 in Sarasota. The sold versus list price is the difference between what a home is listed for and what it actually sells for. Both counties remain relatively unchanged. In Manatee, sellers are getting about 93% of their asking price, while sellers are getting 91% in Sarasota. With sales slowing down, inventory is continuing to go up. Months of inventory is a calculation of how many homes are on the market versus how many buyers are out there buying. Zero to three months supply is considered a seller's market, three to five months is considered a neutral market, and a, anything over five months is considered a buyer's market. This is when the market is flush with homes for buyers to compete on and sellers must be willing to negotiate in order to get their home sold. In Manatee, there is a 4.6 month supply, which is a large 21% increase. In Sarasota, there is 5.4 month supply, which is a 22.73% increase. We're seeing a much different market than those days when homes were being snatched up before a sign was even put in the yard. Mortgage rates are another indicator of what the market is doing, and despite me not changing the month on the bottom of this graph, the rates have continued to drop. The average four week rate for the month of September was 6.18%, which is down from 6.41% the month prior. I still wouldn't advise those on waiting for the two and 3% rates to come back again anytime soon. There are so many roadblocks, obstacles, and hurricanes that can come up when selling or buying a home, and most of them can't be predicted no matter who your realtor is. The best you can hope for is having someone who will work beside you, someone who's honest, and someone who won't leave you by yourself to figure it out. If you're looking for someone like that, I'd love to apply for the job. Feel free to reach out at 941-677-8798 or drop a comment here, and I'd be happy to help in any way that I can. Thanks for watching.